unsinkable Sam, the cat, the myth, the legend. Some people are dog people, and some are cat people. When it comes to seafarers and the navy, they are most definitely cat people. So much so that cats are time-honored passengers aboard ships of all types, and their habit of sailing alongside humans can be dated back to antiquity. The day-to-day -day life of a ship's cat doesn't vary very much from one on land. They wake up, stretch, and go about their business much like a cat on land, deciding when and where they will decide to notice the humans around them or not. And so starts the legend of unsinkable Sam, an ordinary cat who defied extraordinary odds at sea to live a long and healthy life. Unsurprisingly, unsinkable Sam didn't start life with this moniker. Originally, he was known as Oscar and began his sea journey on the broad back of the Bismarck, a German battleship heading toward the worst war humanity has ever known. Most stories of life during World War II focus on the deeds and exploits of humanity, this fails to account for all the brave animals who are also thrown into war alongside humans, including horses, bomb-sniffing dogs, and of course, seafaring cats like Unsinkable Sam. And being a cat, Oscar, or Unsinkable Sam, thought May 26, 1941 was just an ordinary day upon the Bismarck. He had no idea his life was about to change forever and spark a legend that would be told on ships long after he hacked up his final hairball. That's why Oscar began his day like any other, winding through the ship's crew, chasing down a few rats that were going for the food supplies, and being admired by those he happened upon on the magnificent ship he called home. Named after the German Chancellor Otto von Bismarck, the battleship launched on February 14, 1939, spanning 241 meters and weighing approximately 43,978 tons. Thickly armored, there were eight 38-centimeter guns in four twin turrets along its first battery length, a further 12 15-centimeter guns in twin turrets in its second battery, and an anti-aircraft battery of 16 heavy 10.5-centimeter guns, 16 medium 3.7-centimeter guns, and 12 light 2-centimeter guns. But Oscar didn't care about how well defended the Bismarck was, nor that it could chug along at a speedy 30 knots. All Oscar cared about was whether he had caught enough rodents for the day or if there was an incoming storm, which he could. Yet another reason sailors loved having a feline companion on board. Cats like Oscar could actually predict the weather, meaning that they had their own version of the weather forecast. That's because cats can actually sense barometric pressure and changes in the atmosphere that forewarn of shifts in the weather pattern. If the onboard cat starts to act differently, maybe hiding away or sticking to sheltered parts of the ship, then sailors could be almost certain that a storm was coming. Hey, Simple History fans, we're in the studio, but now we're diving into a different kind of history, the high seas with World of Warships. This game is an awesome naval warfare simulator where strategy meets intense action. Every month, World of Warships keeps things fresh with new ships, nations, and even ship classes. The game's graphics are mind-blowing, from dynamic weather to realistic water effects. It's like you're really there. Choose your battle style with a variety of ship classes, battleships, destroyers, you name it. And the best part? You're not alone. World of Warships has an active community where you can engage in discussions, join live streams, and even compete in tournaments. Our favorite part is the ability to choose from such a wide variety of warships. It kind of reminds me like playing Silent Hunter back in the day. Each ship is really detailed and captaining each ship feels different than the last one. Every game is like a new experience if you want to try out all of the various warships. So set sail with World of Warships, join millions of players, and conquer the oceans. Check out the link in the description and use our special code. Play World of Warships on PC, Xbox, PlayStation, or on your phone. And just for you, use the code XMAS2023 for a huge starter pack. Signing off until our next nautical adventure. But on May 26, 1941, a storm wasn't the ship or Oscar's primary concern. After a long pursuit by British naval vessels that spanned a whopping 2 million square miles from the Baltic to the Arctic to the Bay of Biscay, the Bismarck found itself cornered by British ships near France's port city of Brest. Having been responsible for the destruction of British forces, the Allies took no half measures with ferry swordfish biplanes from the aircraft carrier HMS Ark Royal, 
unloading torpedo upon torpedo into its hull before the other ships with the fleet, including HMS King George V and HMS Rodney, sealed its death warrant with an onslaught of shelling and forced the crew to scuttle it. Of the 2,200 crew on board the Bismarck, only 115 survived. This included one very lucky cat. Oscar reportedly found clinging to a plank of wood, sopping wet and undoubtedly very angry, was picked up by another British ship involved in the attack on the Bismarck, HMS Cossack. The cat had survived to sail another day. On board his new home, life largely returned to normal for Oscar. Although the humans aboard now spoke to him in a different tongue to the German he was used to, still, fish is fish in any language. As arguably the most famous of the tribal class destroyers of World War II, HMS Cossack had already seen quite a lot of the war by 1941. The ship came from a proud lineage, being the fifth to bear the name HMS Cossack, and continued to build on this by participating in some notable World War II battles, including the Second Battle of Norway. Outpacing the Bismarck and many other ships, she could travel at a speed of 36 knots and came fully equipped with four twin-turreted 4.7-inch guns, two quadruple 0.5-inch anti-aircraft machine guns, one quadruple torpedo tubes, two depth charge throwers and rail, with a complement of 20 depth charges and one quadruple two-pounder anti-aircraft gun. But like the Bismarck, Oscar didn't care too much about how well-equipped HMS Cossack was nor that it weighed 2,159 tons when fully loaded. Or that it took him quite a while to travel the 377 feet from one end of the ship to the other. All he cared about was enjoying his comfortable new life aboard and the new nickname Unsinkable Sam. Little did the crew or the cat know, however, that the nickname was a sign of things to come. It was October, and the Cossack was just off the coast of Gibraltar when she made her final stand. Alongside her sister ships, she joined forces with those already defending convoys to Malta and escorting capital ships that were integral to the World War II naval battle. In late October 1941, she was hit by a single torpedo from U-boat U-563, and 159 of the 190 crew were lost. But HMS Cossack was valiant and was towed along by a tug for another two days as sailors desperately tried to keep her afloat to make it to the coast of Gibraltar, but sadly it was not to be. Two days later, HMS Cossack finally gave up, sinking beneath the waves to her final resting place. It's not clear when Unsinkable Sam decided to abandon ship, however, given his ability for surviving these situations, his choice to disembark should have been a clue to those around him. Incredibly, the scrappy cat survived and went on to live on the third ship of his illustrious career, HMS Ark Royal. Funnily enough, Unsinkable Sam had come full circle, from a boat that fought against the Bismarck to another that helped it reach its watery grave. Sailing along at 30 knots, Sam settled in for life aboard the third ship of his Navy career. The Ark Royal was reportedly one of the Navy's first modern carriers, weighing 22,000 tons and standing at 800 feet long. Sam could spend his days hiding in plenty of nooks and crannies around its armament, with eight twin 4.5-inch AA guns, four quadruple 2-pounder AA, and eight quadruple 0.5-inch AA machine guns. And with the Ark Royal able to carry up to 65 aircraft, mainly the Fairy Swordfish, but also Fairy Fulmers, there were plenty of people coming and going to sneak Sam bits of fish. Alas though, unsinkable Sam's luck wasn't holding out. He had been on the Ark Royal for less than a month when it was hit by a torpedo from a submarine attack by U-boat U-81 on 14th November 1941. Unfortunately, the torpedo hit directly between the ship's magazine storage area and the fuel bunkers, and the crew immediately recognized the danger, with the order given to abandon ship. Despite their best efforts, the ship sank below the waves a short time later. At this point, unsinkable Sam had, understandably, had enough of life at sea. In the space of around six months, he had survived a defection to the enemy side and three ships sinking beneath his paws. It was time for him to retire, so instead, he took up a position as mouse catcher in the Governor General of Gibraltar's offices. 
After an illustrious career killing vermin, Sam eventually lived out his last years in Belfast, passing away in 1955. The tale of Unsinkable Sam is a well-known Navy legend, and one that encapsulates the bond between a ship's sailors and its onboard furry companions. Sadly, we don't actually know if he really existed. While it's likely all three ships did have cats, and there is proof of this on at least two, to say they were all the same cat is a bit of a stretch. The two pictures that exist of him show clearly different cats, with different markings and colorings, making it more likely that the legend was born from multiple felines, rather than just one exceedingly lucky one. But regardless of whether the tale of Oscar, aka Unsinkable Sam, is true or not, the naval legend brings a sense of hope in wartime and provides a moment of levity among the death and destruction of World War II in particular. Despite everything, Unsinkable Sam managed to sail through the war with most of his nine lives intact.